beatings, uh, torture, indefinite detention, enforced disappearance, and things of this nature are not considered the hallmarks of the Islamic justice that was promised to the Syrian people. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be discussing the issues surrounding the killing of the education minister, Fayez al-Khalif, may Allah have mercy on him. He was brutally murdered several months ago, and as a result of that, uh, Hayat al-Tahrir Sham authorities arrested the following suspects. They are Mazin Mustafa Duxi, Khalid Aliyoui, Ahmed Mahmoud Jallu, Ali Muhammad Shatir, and Anwar Hassoun. Since that time, Hayat Tahrir Sham has released videos uh, basically wherein the detainees uh, confessed to the crimes which they were accused of. Now, we here at OGN and our program Justice have several issues, actually three to be exact, um, with these so-called confessions. Number one, torture. We here at OGN uh, have covered in the past that torture is rampant in the prisons of Hayat Tahrir Sham. Therefore, we are uncomfortable wherein cases are basically formed around the admissions of guilt by detainees which more than likely have been subjected to, uh, uh, to some form of torture, either being beaten, being hung by their wrists for long periods of time, and other methods which have been proven to be used by Hayat Tahrir Sham in the past. And it does seem clear that uh, several of the detainees seem that they were roughed up um, while they were in detention. And Allah knows best.